What is going on, everybody? This is Joe from Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe. And for today's bonus video, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about some of my favorite holiday scents that are currently available. These are scents that are limited, only seasonal, and you do not want to miss out on these. Of course, before I dive into those, make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're not missing any of our future content. Before I dive right into these, hang tight after this intro, and you know I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. So in no particular order, am I going to show these off? Uh, by no means do I have a set uh, rating in regards to which I like better, which I like least. This is just all uh, currently on my holiday rotation uh, when I have the chance to get them into my beard when I'm not uh, doing any sort of normal testing for our other reviews. So let's just go ahead and not waste any time and get started. The first two scents that I'm going to talk to you about are two... Uh, scents that are from Fable Beard Company. And the first one is, of course, the Ugly Sweater Guy. Okay, so this one is a delicious buttered rum cake type scent that has some nutmeg in it. And it is just very holiday bakery like. It is delicious. It is very enjoyable to put in the beard. It is actually the scent that I'm rocking out as we are talking about this video right now. And what I love about it is you get a good little uh, bit of the spice from, from that rum uh, in there, but you get just that nice sweetness of the bakery, the way that you're able to get that spice and sweet all at the same time is just absolutely amazing. And, and they're just like an equal amount where you're, you don't feel like you're getting, uh, you know, one over the other. They just blend absolutely perfect. This is an absolute delicious scent that you may want to consider if you're into those holiday unique food type uh, scents. Now, the next one is the Krampus and that is the artwork for that. And as you can see, and as you saw in the Christmas sweater one, the artwork is just absolutely phenomenal as always from Fable. Now this is gonna be your more invigorating uh, pine-like uh, holiday winter scent. Um, what I get out of this is just a lot of like that evergreen type freshness, okay? You get that nice winter, you know, crisp air. You get some of that pine, a little bit of the evergreen. It is just very crisp, very refreshing. Uh, one of those scents that's going to keep your beard nice and cool. I really, really like it. I definitely can't wait to wear this, especially at night. Now, the next two I'm going to talk about are two scents uh, from a company that uh, Kyle and myself are just really growing to love more and more every time we try their products. And that's none other than Damn Yankee Beard Company. And if you guys saw and happened to be in our stream last night, you saw that we released these uh, not even 24 hours ago. So these are brand spanking new that you're going to want to dive right into uh, for this holiday season. Now, the first scent that I'm showing off is the Christmas AF. And you guys can figure what the AF means. I'm not going to go ahead and say it. We like to keep things just a little PG on this station here. But uh, this scent consists of orange ginger spruce and cinnamon what i really love about it is you get that nice uh citrus blast to go with that kind of manly spruce in there and it just makes for a very unique holiday type scent the cinnamon comes in not too strong if you guys are worried that um your skin is a little bit too sensitive for cinnamon this is only in here just a little bit and you don't have to worry about um, any of that skin irritation. Uh, we were talking to Pete during the stream. He said he has very sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin. So I have to be very careful with particular scents that get put into my beard. And I have not had any worry whatsoever. I have already done some damage to that. Now I look, I know the bottle looks like it's filled, but for a reviewer who, uh, you know, use as much product as we do. This is not too bad of a start on, on, on using oil in this bottle here. Um, I have used this quite a bit and I have had no reactions whatsoever. I love the uniqueness of that one uh, very much. 
Now, the next one we're going to talk about is a scent that is called Twig and Berries. And that is what that one looks like there. And as you can tell, this is going to be more of the vintage holiday, uh, you know, type Chris, uh, Christmas scent, holiday scent, however you want to put it, um, as by looking at the artwork there. And this one is going to be cranberry, pomegranate, white birch, and cinnamon again. And with this one, ah. Uh, and it is just, it's very nice. It's very vintage, very classic. The way I described it was kind of like you and your loved one uh, sitting around your, your house with a, with a fire going and you just got done with all the activities, uh, you know, earlier in the day, you're, you're winding down on that nice holiday evening with maybe a nice uh, glass of red wine. It's one of those scents that I just feel like it really sets a, um, a mood. Um, you kind of get like a holiday romantic feel out of it. Uh, the cranberry in there really stands out. It's very tart, but yet you get that nice fruity type sweetness out of it as well too. Um, I think that's always really unique when it comes to to cranberry. Uh, so that is the twig and berries uh, from uh, none other than Dan Yankee. Now, the next one I'm going to cover is a scent that I'm hoping is still going to be available by the time I drop this video. As soon as I'm done, I'm going to get the editing done. I'm going to get it posted up on YouTube, and I'm hoping that there's going to be some left of this. I know when this came out, there was only a limited amount. However, I have pushed for more of this to come out because it is absolutely delightful. And that is none other than Santa's Beard by Whiskey and Hardtack. And man, do I love that label. I just, I love how clean that is. I love how, how slick it is. You got the candy cane looking uh, gift wrap wrapper on there and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. And this is really straightforward. It is a peppermint and warm vanilla uh, scent. And man, they just go really well together. It's, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's not, um, you know, it's not doing anything uh, special in regards to complexity. It is what it says it is. It's just straight peppermint and warm vanilla. So you get that kind of a, the, the cool blast from the peppermint. And then you get that nice, calm warmness from the vanilla as the scent starts to die down. Very delightful very invigorating at first. I love the way that it changes and kind of tells two different stories into your beard. And last but not least, now I know I covered some of the December type holiday scents, but this is actually a scent for the holiday that is coming up right around the corner, of course, and that is none other than Thanksgiving. And this is going to be Bad Pilgrim from Ruddy Man Grooming. This scent is so unique. It is basically a full Thanksgiving feast in a bottle mixed in with just a little bit of bourbon, okay? So what does uh, Thanksgiving feast smell like? Well, it smells like everything that you would smell in the kitchen. You got the turkey going, you got the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, corn, whatever else it is. You have all of that blended in this bottle with that nice spiced bourbon in there. And as I get a, as I get a good smell in there, I love the fact that while it's a combination of a Thanksgiving feast, I don't know if I even classify this as like a really typical food scent. This is a, if, if you do, it's a food scent that I would wear on a more of a regular basis compared to like a once a week, like I normally do with other food scents. And I love the balance with the bourbon. I think you get a nice little spice to it that really helps just with overall the elevation of everything else that's in there. I really think Jimmy did an outstanding job with this and it's good to see a pure thing Thanksgiving scent as well. Very fun, very cool. So you guys, I just wanted to throw out this quick hitter here uh, for some holiday scents that are not going to be around all year round. And you want to make sure that you get on them right now. We'll make sure to put some of our affiliate codes and discount codes in the description below. Of course, thank you so much for your support and for, uh, you know, making us do what we do on a weekly basis. We, we love doing this for you guys. We want to make sure that we hit as many beer as possible. So of course, hit that thumbs up, uh, share this content with as many people as you can. We would love to keep our subscriber list growing. And hey, if you're interested, check out 
beertalkwithkyleandjoe.com. We have some awesome merch. As you can see, I'm uh, rocking out this awesome Beer Talk with Kyle and Joe hat to go with your shoot your eye out uh, sweatshirt. I think they match perfectly. So definitely, please go ahead and check out some of our, our merch, hats and t-shirts available for you. As always, guys, though, thanks again. Keep it growing, and we'll talk to you at the next one. Cousin out.